You don't need any seasonings or any extra anything. It's complete. It has all the flavors you need all in one single dish. Good morning. Hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Ubud in Bali, Indonesia. And today we're gonna go do some local food exploration. There are a couple of really local restaurants that I'm very excited to go and try. Then we're also gonna do a little bit of sightseeing. So this is gonna be some amazing food and a little bit of sightseeing today. We're gonna get a taxi for the whole day and go to some restaurants and then he's gonna wait for us and we're just gonna, we hired him for the whole day. All right, thank you, what's your name? Utu. Utu. Yeah, and you? I'm Mark. Mark, and your wife? Ying. Ying. We're on our way to the first warung, which is a local Indonesian restaurant, and this is a place that I am very excited to try. We just made it to Sange, but we have made it to the first restaurant. I think this is someone's house. You just kind of wind your way back through the, the compound. It's really nice and quiet back here. Oh, yes. Here's the restaurant right here. They have some tables just kind of set out in different villas and then they're doing all the cooking back here. You can hear them chopping up the, the beef parts. So they specialize in beef at this restaurant. It's chopping up just a mound of what appears to be cow skin and there's also some tripe there and then they're cooking uh, traditional Balinese cooking style over fire in the kitchen there and then they're just assembling all of the different dishes. Oh, it looks amazing. Oh, yes. The only dish they serve here is called lawar sapi and lawar is a Balinese, it's one of the most common of all Balinese dishes. It's usually like a it's not really a salad, but it's a mixture. And so this one is made with beef. And you can see all of those ingredients that are in there. There's a lot of like organ, beef organs in there. I can see some long beans, some lemongrass in there, and then serve with rice and soup. And they do give you a spoon and fork, but most people eating here are all eating with their fingers and then just using the spoon for the soup. So I've gotta, I gotta reach in with my fingers. You can grab a little bit. Look at that mix. That's just beautiful, a hand mix. That's really just a, a classic Balinese dish. Mix in with the rice and all, oh yeah, some of that, that, that feels like, like uh, what do they call it, like meat floss. Mm. Oh. oh, that's incredible. Mm. You can really taste the lemongrass in there. Oh, and there are definitely some chilies mixed within there as well. You can taste like a richness from, I think, maybe there's some, some oil in there and maybe some coconut milk as well. Mm. Okay. Another thing, mm, the coconut in there. There's definitely a lot of chopped up coconut. And what I love about this dish, okay, the flavor is impressive, but you've got so many textures. You've got some chewy bits, some jellyish bits. You've got some crunchy things, some crispy things. There's a lot going on. That's just a, an all you need flavor on one single little plate. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, that's incredible. That's really, really oily. You can feel all that fat like, like coating the inside of your mouth, but it's so flavorful. All oh, those shallots in there. Yeah, this is an amazing dish. You don't need any seasonings or any extra anything. It's complete. The lawar is complete. It has all the flavors you need all in one single dish. This is an absolutely winning dish. It's so good. Oh, that's really an off the beaten path gem in Bali. Oh, I loved every single bite of that.
literally just around the corner from the restaurant is the Sangye Monkey Forest. And so there are two monkey forests in this area. The, the, the one that's more famous is the one in Ubud. But this one is a little further away, so I think it's not quite as popularly visited. And that's why I, I thought it would be really cool to visit. And since we're in this area, you pay right at the entrance. It costs 35,000. It's known as a holy monkey forest in Bali. And so it is a sanctuary, it's a temple. Wow, the nature is just beautiful. Look at these tall trees. They just reach to the sky and they're so straight and so tall. And there's various shrines and then all the, the stone sculptures which are just they, they start to become part of the jungle and they... Uh, and sometimes monkeys can be a little overly aggressive and mischievous, but these monkeys, they seemed pretty friendly. The next place that we've come to eat, it's literally just on the backside of the monkey forest where we just were. And this is a, it's a legendary place for satay. Satay is one of the most famous of all Indonesian foods. And in Bali, satay babi, which is pork, is very common for satay. And what I love about the, the grilling in Indonesia is that they keep the coals so incredibly hot. And you can see here, he has actually an electric blower which goes directly to the coals. And so that keeps the fire literally red hot, red hot coals the entire time that it's grilling. And that is really key for the taste because it's gonna, you, you can already tell that those satays are gonna be extremely smoky and just have the, the full fire flavor embedded into them. Oh, it comes with that satay soup. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Our satay has arrived. Say hello to our driver. Hey. He's an awesome, awesome guy, and he's uh, sitting down for some satay with us now. All right, let's eat. And then they put it onto a little plate, and then they add, I think it's a peanut sauce that they just submerge it in. And then the whole set, it comes with rice as well, and the rice is wrapped up in paper, uh, in pieces of paper. And then it also comes with a sambal, which is a sambal mata, which is a mix of torch ginger flour, there are chilies in it, and shallots, I believe. And then also with a soup. Look at this gigantic coconut. But not only not only how big the coconut is, but look, look into to the, the center of that coconut. Look how much water that is. Like maybe a liter of liquid in that coconut. Oh, oh, that's perfectly sweet and sour. And they add some lime in it too. The rice comes with a little bit of sambal mata inside. Start with the satay. They're just definitely one biters. And look at that sauce. Oh, that is awesomely good. It's not like extremely tender. It has a little bit of texture to it. And it's kind of the, well, you can really taste the smokiness, of course. And then that's a very smooth peanut sauce. It's a little bit on the sweet side, but that does taste extremely good. That sambal is awesome. You can really taste the torch ginger flour in there is fantastic. You can taste the lemongrass in there. You can, Taste the garlic and chilies in there as well. Oh, it's wonderful. I think a lot of people just lift the lift the bowl to the mouth to drink the soup. Oh, wow, that soup. Okay, I know why it's so good. You can actually see lumps of pork fat just floating around in that soup, but that's incredibly flavorful. That's the type of satay that just goes down so easily. They're just one biters. Each satay has a, a mix of both fat and meat. So it's kind of juicy and tender all at the same time. But to be honest, I'm just in love with the sambal. Yeah, the sambal is just extraordinary. Oh, man. What a combination. Oh, is, is it like pepes? Yes. But boiled, right? Yes. At the front of the restaurant, you'll see they have a lot of little banana leaf packets, and it's called dum. There's some type of meat, and then mixed with all sorts of herbs and, and chili paste, and then they are boiled within a banana leaf packet. 
This one is the one with pig skin. And pig blood, I think. Mm. Oh, that's good. You can really taste the lemongrass in there. Mm. Maybe fish. Oh, that's very herbaceous though. There's a lot of, there are a lot of herbs going on in there. You know it's a cool place when they just have random coconuts lying around. And these are the, these are the table stations. You can grab a table here. They have little snacks too. They have, I think this is fried pork skin. They have little packets of jackfruit that you can eat. Just all sorts of snacks, a little snacker's paradise. And oh, that was delicious. And a sink with a view into the rice paddies and the forest. It doesn't get better than that. Terima kasih. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye, Micah. Bye bye, Micah. It's a really, really cool place. I want to say a big thank you to Teki for this recommendation. We're now driving back to Ubud. And we are now stopping at Goa Gaja, which is the elephant temple. And this is a, a very ancient temple and cave. And it's a very popular place to visit in Bali. For two adults, please. It's 15,000 per adult. It's really an entire temple complex and they have various shrines around, including an incredible huge tree right in the center. But the most famous uh, part of this temple is the Elephant Cave, which dates back to the 9th century. And the rock carvings, which, is, uh, which protrudes right out of the, the cliff face. I love how the rocks in Bali and the sculptures just start to de decay and you can see the moss growing on them and it, it starts to, they start to go back into the jungle. It's very dark and damp, and you can really smell the incense burning here as well. It's really, really awesome in here. Oh man, just in the center of this rock. All right. Wow, it's really dark in there. Goa Gaja, the elephant cave, was nice to visit. And we are now on our way to go eat again. The next restaurant we're going to is called Warung Makan Teges, uh, Nasi Teges, and we just arrived. Nasi complete two. Is it called Nasi, Nasi Ayam? Oh, nasi Champur, Nasi Champur, okay. Mini mix. So they have a front area where you can sit and in the front is where they're dishing out the Nasi Champur and then you come in the back here, it's a whole garden seating area, beautiful and relaxing back here. Nasi Champur. Yes, Nasi Champur. Okay. Thank you. This is an, another amazing restaurant in Bali. The restaurants here are incredible. Not only the food, but I love the setting. The this the island atmosphere. It's so relaxing and peaceful. And yeah, they do have a, a couple tables in the front there where they dish out all the food, but you can come back here for full ultimate eating relaxation. And there might be 12 different items on this top of this rice. There's, uh, yeah, I won't be able to name them all, but there's a number of different meats. There's some pork ribs. There is some liver. There's some crunchy things. There's some soft things. There's half, a, half of a hard boiled egg. There are some green beans. And then the sambal in particular here, which is the, the chili sauce mix, looks unbelievable. Mmm. Oh, all oh, that shredded chicken is awesome. Oh, you can taste the chilies in there. And it's really, really strong with lemongrass and shallots. Oh, that sambal is ridiculous. I think it is torch ginger flour. You could actually just eat that sambal straight with rice and be very happy. But I think there's a lot of garlic in it too. Oh man, you could literally just eat like mounds of this sambal. Okay, what to try next? Um, add some sambal there. I think I'll try for this. I think that's a piece of fried liver. Load that up with sambal. Mm. 
Yeah, that's liver. I'm pretty sure. It's a little dryish. That's sambal though. It's award winning. Next for the satay lulit, which is a minced meat Balinese style satay. That's good too, it's a little bit sweet. One more thing I wanna show you. At first I thought this was like a paste, but it's actually like a crunchy fritter. Oh, it's like a deep fried little little fritter. Okay, that's gonna need some sambal. Uh, yeah, you could literally just eat a mountain of this sambal, it's so good. Yeah, it's like a, maybe a deep fried. Oh no, wait. That took a little while for the flavor to come, but that's actually coconut. You can taste the, the dry coconut in that. I think that's just like a little deep fried coconut patty. Okay, time for the ribs next. I think the ribs have been deep fried. They are nice and crispy on the edges and then nice and salty as well. In Bali, you'll just eat meal after meal of incredible and exciting flavors. That was a, another delicious mix of food over rice, and oh, I'm so satisfied right now. Big thank you to my friend Ibas and for everyone for recommending this place. This place is called Nasi Ayam Kedewatan, and it's a very well-known restaurant for Nasi Ayam, which is rice with chicken and also the mix of different dishes, Balinese-style Indonesian food. And the real beauty of this restaurant is, again, I love these Balinese restaurants where you can take a seat in one of the many little villas uh, within the courtyard. It's so relaxing, such a, such a prime dining environment. Again, at this place, I ordered nasi ayam complete uh, with everything. You get the chicken, which is cooked in lots of spices, and then it comes with a, there's a long bean salad, there is a satay, there are some crunchy bits, there's some peanuts on there, a half a hard boiled egg, all surrounded by rice, and then some sambal, some chilies on there as well. The plate is beautiful. It, it's just, it's, it's just beautiful. Such a, such an incredible mixture of ingredients and different dishes surrounded by rice. Oh, that chicken is really nice and soft and tender. And then really nicely spiced. Now mixed in with that, that coconut uh, long bean kind of relish. Oh, that's definitely skin. Oh, there's a feather. There's a feather on that skin. That's how you know it's delicious. Okay, a feather and an intestine, some peanuts. And that, that sambal is just awesomely good. Wow, that's delicious. And again with chicken. completely crispy all the way through. And then, yeah, I think that's a little piece of intestine. That chicken, though, is stunning. It's really, really soft, and it's a breast meat, but it's not dry at all. What I like about a mix like this is that, is that everything is individually prepared, and everything has a different flavor composition. And they all taste good on their own, but they're even better when you kind of mix and match a little bit of them together with that chicken, with those, those beans, with that 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 sambal that was another winner of a meal and this again is somebody's family it's a family compound and so they have these little villas set up you, you just get off the street where the street is busy and loud but you come inside it's just a little oasis of a, a balinese garden and a place to relax and eat okay of all the food we ate i think my favorite thing that we ate today was the lawar sapi that was an incredible dish that breakfast dish that we ate and then doing some sightseeing around sange and ubud it was really fun incredible food. The flavors will just truly excite your mouth. And yeah, I love Balinese food. I love Indonesian food. 
that was a, an amazing day. I'll have all of the information about all the restaurants I ate at and things we did in this video in the description box so you can check out all the details. And I wanna say a big thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe right now for lots more food and travel videos. Goodbye from Bali and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.